honestly, it's a, it's a hard truth that people are never going to really realize. They think it's something they need to fucking add to their life that's going to get them where they want to go. Your motherfucking pleasures are what's fucking you. It's not that you need to add some Himalayan salt to your diet and now you're all of a sudden going to get the gains you want, motherfucker. You're cheating too much. You're seeking pleasure too much. You're not dedicated enough. This is the fucking problem. It's not nothing you need to fucking add. When you learn to start your fucking day harder, when you learn to start taking shit away that you like, this is how you get harder. It doesn't come from turning pages and having some light bulb go off if you don't put that shit into action. The only reason I got anywhere is because these quotes and these fucking things I agree with in my heart, I don't sell myself out on. So if I agree with the motherfucking quote, like to know and not to do is not to know, well, I want to fucking know. So I put that shit into fucking action. So then here it is. I hear it already. Will Wes, it's not about just being hard. No fucking shit. But when you gain self-control, when you gain self-discipline, when you learn to keep your feelings in check, this is across the board. So when a situation arises that you don't necessarily want to be kind on and you want to act upon, you want to smash that motherfucker, you don't because your feelings are in check. So in the pen, when some grown ass dude is having some sort of emotional reaction or he's throwing some man sized hissy fit, that shit don't last long. The dude better fucking pump his brakes in the next two seconds or he's done. Out here, it's man-sized hissy fits all day. I'll be using some machine and someone will come up and be like, Hey, how many you got left? And I'm like, I got a few. You can work in with me. Oh, shit, it's, all, it's okay. I'll come back. What the fuck is that? Don't be that dude, man. Just fucking don't be that dude in traffic who's fucking all pissed about everything. Nobody wants to be around that shit. Be that dude who's okay with it. Be that dude who doesn't have that scarcity and that victim mentality that the whole world's against him, that the fucking traffic on the freeway is holding him back in life. Positive or negative, life happens for you. It is not happening to you. We don't fucking play that victim ass shit. We ain't no bitches. We see the growth to be had in all negative situations. You're being dealt these situations for your growth, to mold you into the person you're supposed to become, to put you on the right path. See this in every negative situation, you're going to go exactly where you need to be.